Well, the uh, National Workers and Elders Conference was the vision of a brother named T.B. Gilbert. It began back in 1938. The first uh, meeting was in St. Louis, Missouri. And um, <clears throat> his thought was to bring together workers that were out on the field in pioneer areas that did not have much fellowship. And that was a great chance to get together, hear them sing, people sing, and uh, get some good ministry and get their batteries recharged. And uh, it's gone on every year since then. <clears throat> Even though it's called the Workers and Elders Conference, it's open to anyone. But uh, workers and elders have uh, unique needs for um, encouragement and um, stimulation in the word. And this is a time where not only from the platform, but also over meals and breaks, people get to really share from their heart. And um, people can go home without ever having preached anything. So it is a, an opportunity for a lot of encouragement. Um, hosting the National Conference is a great blessing because um, it's not only an opportunity for your local body to come together to serve the Lord and, and use, it, use your gifts um, in ways that you're not used, able to do usually on a, just a regular basis. Um, but then also you can um, reach out to the other area assemblies and work together and foster some community and fellowship with the other assemblies as well. Uh, it starts with lots of prayer and coming up with some committee heads. We have things like housing, we have food committee, there's transportation to and from the airport. Housing is really fun and unique because we don't just set up a room block at a hotel, but uh, the Saints do open their homes and uh, people get the opportunity to have a fellowship with people from all over the country and sometimes from different parts of the world as well um, and hear different experiences on how the Lord works in people's lives um, and other places as well and it's a real encouragement for everybody involved. Wherever we go we want to make sure we're sticking to the word, providing good quality fellowship for the people and uh, also there's a lot of people that get the idea that assemblies are uh, virtually unknown in the world and uh, to let them be exposed to something that's done well, good ministry, and also speaks of people working around the world and a great history, uh, great encouragement for young people and people new to Assembly Fellowship. Hello, this is Steve Price and I'm on the Workers and Elders Committee. We're looking forward to being with you in October and uh, we can't wait to see you.